Hey everyone, welcome back to Psychedelic Gems. I felt inspired to make a video today, so I wanted to come with you to a message, come to you with a message that I've been picking up on lately about connecting to your true and authentic self. Your true and authentic self is something that has always existed deep inside of you. If you're a person that's more sensitive to more subtle energies, and have always felt something in your soul or in your spirit that has told you that there is something more to this experience. You can probably relate or have been in connection with your true authentic self, which is connected to unlimited source and divine guidance and wisdom. And I wanted to share, I guess, a little bit of my experience of coming into contact with this energy and how it's shaped and transformed my life. Um, it's something that I've always felt was there. It was something that I couldn't put words to. I couldn't put a name on it. And at times it was so subtle, it was almost like it didn't even exist, but it was just enough for me to feel it and to know that something was there. But what happens when we you know, become a human and we go through this life experience, we are kind of trained away from listening to that, especially in the world we live in today. And I would say Western culture and Western society where it's very external based. It's based on achievements and um, validation of the ego and creating certain, having certain accomplishments and creating almost like a false self or a false identity to move through the world with. And you create like this character that you use to represent your yourself and who you identify as and so you may use different things to decorate this ego like job titles degrees um, just different accomplishments and things that we accumulate throughout life based off of what other people around us have told to value as being um, successful or important and it's actually necessary because we do need we are um, tribal creatures we need community we need people around us and in order to fit in with the group, you know, we've had to forego certain aspects of ourselves in, you know, in exchange for what society or what our community or our family tells us is important so that we can be included, we can be safe, we can get our needs met, we can get, you know, the security and the stability that we need as human beings. But there are, um, I guess I would say there are a segment of people who unfortunately through just crisis and different situations that happen through life um death the loss of love um some of us were you know mentally physically emotionally abused as children um we've had that false identity or that idea or that version of reality that we were um, accustomed to for so long just come crashing down and it's like we are forced to come into contact with um, just the frailty and the superficiality of this false self that we've created. And if you're watching this video, you're most likely somebody who has had that rug, you know, just tugged right from underneath you. And the person that you thought you were and why you thought you were here and what you thought you were here to accomplish in this lifetime was all of a sudden challenged and put at risk. And it kind of forced you to question, like, is there something more to this? Why are we here? What is our purpose? Um, what is the point of existence and the point of being a human being? Because everything up until this point that I was told was important, it no longer exists. And so it's like you're forced to have something else come in and replace that idea that you've been presented with for so long. And that's when you start to tune into your your true self the source of divine guidance and wisdom and power and you start to ask yourself what is my purpose your purpose is different than what society and the institutions that you're surrounded by and the social groups that you're in can define for you um maybe some of maybe some people get lucky enough where they're able to kind of use that false sense as a that false identity as a tool to move through the world but if you're not, you come into contact with a deeper purpose and you know that it is something deeper, something more powerful than you ever could have imagined. And almost it's 
sometimes hard to trust it because you don't want to be labeled as weird or crazy or different. You want to um, feel that you're being practical and responsible and that you're living life the way that you're supposed to, but it just comes to a point where it's it becomes impossible for you to continue down that path and you feel something kind of pulling you and pushing you in a different direction. And the practice there is to sit with that, to sit with those feelings, um, to tune out the distractions, to tune out the mental noise and the mental chatter, which can be hard because our whole lives we've been told, we've been given certain programs and certain belief systems and told what's possible, what's not possible, what's good, what is bad. And it's all been based on this um, idea or this misconception of what society values. And this is not a video like knocking what's knocking society or telling you that, you know, um, you have to be so like rebellious and go forward your own path. But in a sense, you do. Um, I recognize the value in finding balance and realizing like I'm a human, but I'm also a spiritual being as well. And I have to learn a way to value and honor both of those things that are within me. You cannot put your human primal basic survival needs above your spiritual and divine self. They are both needed to live a whole and balanced life. And so as you start to listen to this voice a little bit more and you kind of learn how to integrate it more into your purpose and you in your life and your everyday um, duties and responsibilities that you have, you can live a more authentic life that leaves you actually feeling fulfilled and gives you meaning into your life and gives you purpose. Um, and it's something you can tune in and tap into at any time. Um, I often just will sit still and almost kind of go into a meditative state and block out everything and listen. And it takes courage to do that because a lot of the things that it that will come up and that will be communicated to you go in direct opposition of what you've been told and what you've been taught all this time. Um, but it does lead to a more, um, just more guided and aligned life path. And that's why I make these videos. That's why I, you know, go on these, these trips and these journeys that I have because I've been longing to connect with that part of myself. And I know that there are others out there as well who have similar experiences and similar journeys. And so I want to encourage you in this video to have the boldness and the audacity to listen to your, your divine and authentic self, to get connected to that part of you because everything that you've gone through, all the trials, the hardships, they're all trying to point you in a certain direction. And it's trying to get your attention. It's trying to teach you lessons. And sometimes we struggle with it because we're like, this is not what I imagine my life would look like. This is not a, how I imagine things should go or how things should be. And so some, some, sometimes it's hard to come to terms with that and really wrap our minds around it and embrace it. But what's the alternative? You can't live this half life anymore where you don't feel fulfilled, where you feel empty, you feel disconnected, you feel a void, and you try to fill it with other things that society tells you should make you happy. And then when you get those things at the end of the day, you realize that it doesn't satisfy it, that there's still something more that your soul is asking from you. And I just was inspired to make this message and I would love to hear anybody else's thoughts or um, experiences with going down this path as well. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I'm working to create a community of people who can support one another and not feel alone. And we know that you know other people can relate and have similar experiences to us as well. So we can be more empowered to live our true purpose and um, live in a, an alignment with our authenticity. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.